Edward and Gordon. One of the engines in Edward's shed was named Gordon Brooklyn. He was very big and very proud. You watch me this afternoon, Mr. Gleason, he boasted, as I rush through with the express. That will be a splendid sight for you. His driver pulled the lever. <laughs> Goodbye, little Edward, said Gordon as he puffed away. Look after me this afternoon. Edward went off too to do some shunting in the station yard. Edward liked shunting with his friend Albert Richmond. It was fun playing with trucks. He would come up quietly and give them a pull. Oh, 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 oh! Screamed the trucks. Whatever is happening? Then he would stop, and the silly trucks would go bumping into him. Oh, 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 oh! They cried again. Edward pushed them until they were running nicely, and when they weren't expecting it, he would stop. One of them would be sure to run onto another line. Edward and Albert played till there were no more trucks. Then they stopped to rest. Presently, they heard a whistle. Gordon came puffing along very slowly and very crossly. Instead of nice shining coaches, he was pulling a line of very dirty trucks. A good train, a good train, a good train, he grumbled. The shame of it, the shame of it, the shame of it. He went slowly through with the trucks clattering and banging behind him. Edward laughed and went to find some more trucks. Soon afterwards, a porter came and spoke to his driver. Gordon can't get up the hill. Will you take Edward to push him, please? <laughs> they found Gordon halfway up the hill and very cross. His driver and friend were talking severely. You're not trying, they told him. I can't do it, said Gordon. The noisy trucks hold an engine back so. If there were coaches now, clean, sensible things that come quietly, that would be different. Edward's driver came up. We've come to push, he said. No use at all, said Gordon. Oh, you wait and see, said Edward's driver. They brought the train back to the bottom of the hill. Edward came up behind the brake fan, ready to push. I'm ready, called Edward. <laughs> no good, grumbled Gordon. The guard blew his whistle, and they pulled and pushed as hard as they could. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it, puffed Gordon. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it, puffed Edward. I can't do it. I will do it. I can't do it. I will do it. I can't do it. I will do it. They puffed together. Edward pushed and puffed and puffed as pushed as hard as ever he could. And almost before he realized it, Gordon found himself at the top of the hill. I've done it! I've done it! I've done it! He screamed proudly and forgot all about it we were pushing behind. He didn't wait to say thank you. He ran on so fast that he passed two stations before his driver could make him stop. They were to push so hard that when he got to the top, he was out of breath. Gordon ran on so fast that Edward was left behind. The guard waved and waved, but Edward couldn't catch up. He ran on to the next station, which lay at the bottom of the hill on the other side. And there, his driver and fireman said they were very pleased with him. The fireman gave him a nice long drink of water, and the driver said, I'll get out my paint tomorrow and give you a beautiful coat of blue with red stripes. Then you'll be the smartest engine in the shed. <laughs>